Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Uh, yeah, I didn't feel like doing my hair right now. I'm going to a concert in another hour or so, so I will put my hair up. Uh, it's an outdoor concert, so it's going to be in a bun, but I just got out of the shower and did my makeup and wanted to film. So we're here with the hair. Anyway, today is a beauty haul. It is a collective haul. It has stuff from TJ Maxx. It has stuff from box lunch. I was trying to remember where I got stuff from Sephora all over the place. Just a little bit of everything in here. And it's been, you know, quite a while since my last like full on beauty haul. And I've just been kind of collecting things over the past like month and a half to two months. So it's not like all together. I'm not that bad usually. Well, sometimes I am. Before I get started, uh, please do consider subscribing. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and let me know what deals you have gotten recently. What have you been finding um, or what's been tempting you? Let me know down below. Okay, so we're gonna start with Costco because this is the largest thing. I found this for $3.97 on clearance at Costco and I was like, I'm gonna get it. I can get shampoo to match it. This is the Pantene Essential Botanicals in Apricot and Shea Butter. I had a different one of this and I thought it was just fine, but I was kind of curious about the Apricot and Shea Butter. It smells really good. So I'm excited. I thought $3.97 on clearance. How can I pass that up? That's huge. So very excited to have gotten that because like I said, that's, that's like several months worth of conditioner. Then we're gonna move on to box lunch. So in July, it was my birthday and I had a, you know, box lunch gives you like a $5 reward. So I used it towards this. This is a Hello Kitty lip balm, cherry flavored lip balm. I don't even know if I will actually open it and use it, but I just thought it was so cute. The little mushroom and it was $6.90 normally. So it was a perfect thing to get to use that discount on. I also got a couple, they have these little teeny tiny pops now that are mystery blind bags. And I got that because it was Harry Potter. Next up, we have Sephora. So I redeemed for my birthday gift. I wanted the Dior and they said the Dior was only available in store. So I went into my store, it was not available. They said, oh, we, our last one was taken about an hour ago. And I was like, oh, okay. And they said, oh, well, we might get some more in. And I didn't want to risk it. So I ended up getting the way set. It's not exactly what I wanted. I would have rather have had a mini of the Miss Dior fragrance, but that's, that's okay. Uh, so I did get a leave-in conditioner. I really like their leave-in conditioner, so that's good. And then you have a, oh, it's a body cleanser. Why did I think it was a shampoo and conditioner? I don't even, I guess I should start reading things. And then a detox shampoo. So that's kind of... I guess that's useful. And then a Melrose Place perfume. Not bad, that's usually like a 500 point perk. So I thought that was a better use of my points than, uh, or my birthday gift than, you know, getting the 250 points. Then I got this in the mail. This is, I just threw it in here. This is from Sunday Riley Good Jeans. It was something that you could uh, fill out a form if you wanted a sample. So since it's my favorite, serum I had to think what the word was I decided to grab that because why not and then my one online order I got the Briogeo scalp revival uh, charcoal and coconut oil shampoo and conditioner I have been working through shampoo and conditioner samples this I ordered from Kohl's and this is what it is I have five of them the sixth one I ordered six of these was actually it's in my bathroom being used because I ran out. And this is the Mario Badescu anti-acne serum. I really like this. I use this with my like vitamin C serum or my retinol uh, as an added like thing. I don't use it with like my stronger acids, like my glycolic acid or my uh, lactic acid. So I use this, you know, once a day, basically. I really enjoy this. I think it's really helps my skin. They're normally $20. They were $12 on sale because it was, you know, I think this is the July 4th sale. Anyway, they were 40% off, which is a great deal. I usually get them when they're 20. So I bought six of them. I bought, uh, you know, maybe six months worth. Maybe, maybe it will last a little longer. Hopefully, hopefully just a little longer. That would be nice. And then the last thing I picked up from Sephora is the Huda Empowered palette. I was waiting on this one because I, I know she always does big sales. Black Friday, there's always a big sale on. So I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna rush out and get it like I have some of the other ones. 
This one was my least favorite color story. It wasn't as exciting as some of the other color stories to me. So I just wanted to wait and I'm really glad I did because it was, whoa, I just stuck my finger in it because it's decided to start. Whew. Oh, that's weird. Why does it say? It's showing like to use a QR code. Is there a QR code on the palette? Okay, so apparently this is a QR, a giant QR code. That's just, I don't, weird, I don't know. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, you can see my microphone, sorry. Um, it's nice, I kinda like some of the shades. I love shimmers. I have all the Huda palettes, so that's part of the reason why I wanted, to, I knew I wanted to eventually get it, but it wasn't, like I said, something that I felt like I needed to get immediately. I'm gonna swatch a couple of them and we'll see what the shades look like. So I have four of them on my fingers and I'll tell you which ones I grabbed here in just a second. She has been doing some weird formulas lately. So when I'm, the ones I swatched was this black one, which is like a cream was not expecting that. This one also looks like a cream. Then I did this one that looks kind of like sand. And then I did this gold here, which is the one I accidentally stuck my finger in in the first place. And then I did this matte over here. This is what they look like. That top one is so gorgeous. I really love that one. That's the sand one. The black is kind of a weird one. Part of the reason why I don't like it, I don't use a lot of black. And a black cream, I guess to put deepen looks I guess I, the matte worked really well this gold though is like this really almost toppery it's very flaky and just kind of getting everywhere not a big fan of that one in particular but an interesting palette altogether and eventually I will wear it I'm not going to be wearing it for several months because I have planned out all of my palettes for August, September, October, and November, because I'm a little crazy. And then we'll see what happens in December. I haven't I haven't thought to December yet. I also picked up another palette. I picked this up from the Netflix shop because I had wanted this palette from Pat McGrath and Bridgerton. I wanted it, it went out of stock. Every time she's done a sale on her website, this has not been included. And then it kind of like, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there. So when the Netflix shop said they had like an additional off. I thought, you know what? I'm going to get both of them. I think with shipping and tax, I got the highlighter and the palette for 60 or something like that. Four payments of $17 was basically what it was. So whatever the math, the mathing is for that. Um, this actually looks pretty similar to the blue palette, I want to say. I, I have no idea, but it does have the embossing on it. I'm doing the ones that are not embossed because... I don't want to mess those up. Oh, that blue is like stunning. I really like, it's a really thick shimmer. So we got lots of shimmers with that. This one is like the special formula that's more of a topper. So I did the two on the ends on the top row, which is on your bottom. And then I did the shimmer in the middle. Very pretty, very excited about these, this palette. And I do have this one planned in because I'm doing some six pans or smaller like a challenge with those. That Huda shade is all over my couch and all over my legs. It is, it's not fun. I have one last thing, thing to swatch and this is the highlighter from the Bridgerton collection. I do have the darker highlighter. I found it at TJ Maxx and I want to say this was, these were, there we go, were about the same price as what they were in Berlin, or in, in TJ Maxx that I got from the Netflix, not Burlington. I wanted to say Burlington because it's Bridgerton. I wanted to show you the front. It's so pretty. It's very pretty. I love the packaging. Same with this one. It has like the cameo. And then inside it has all of that gorgeousness, the little angel and the crown and everything. And ooh wee. Okay. That is intense. It might be a no, I think it's, I think it will work. Diffuse it out. Wow. Um, yeah, very, very nice. I'm excited about these. I actually do have one other thing I can swatch. We're gonna 
jump over to Alta. I went in to pick up my birthday gift because they give you two codes if you're platinum and diamond, one for the birthday gift and one for like $10 off your purchase. Look, isn't this bag so cute? It's a little tiny one. And you can't use them at the same time. And I don't want to put in two online orders because I don't know what I'm going to spend or, you know, it, it's expensive. Makeup has become expensive. So I went in store to redeem my birthday gift on my birthday and um, I did get some good deals. So first up, I picked up this Moon Barbie toothpaste. This was randomly on a, like, they have those catch-all where they only have one or two of an item and they stick them all together. Found this there. This was $12.99, but I had a 10 off of 40 coupon. And this obviously counted. I wasn't sure if it would, so I picked up some other things. This was $10.18. And then the other things I got were $12.09 and 1412. Oh, one of them was 30% off. Cool. So I did pick up that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it because I peppermint causes my mouth to get really sore and break out. So we'll see what happens. I picked up this guy. This was on the clearance, but it wasn't actually on clearance. This is the Pacifica C, C and C love. It's a vitamin C serum in collaboration with the new little mermaid i just thought it was pretty i liked the bottle and i definitely can use vitamin c palettes or serums and then i did pick up this palette this was 30 percent off so this guy ended up being 1209 so the serum was the most expensive thing it is the ColourPop alice palette they had two of the like shadow sticks or whatever they were i did not pick those up and now now that i'm seeing that they're on sale Dang, I would have gotten them. But like I said, I had a 10 off of 40 for non-prestige brands. So this is what it looks like. It's looking a little worse for wear, but it doesn't look like it has any finger swatches in it. It was the last one. This was also on their, their weird clearance rack that was not a clearance rack. And I was trying to get the entire set. ColourPop always does their releases on Thursday, which really, really sucks because they're always the day before payday always the day before payday and if I am you know waiting for payday I can't put in an order at Colourpop and so I missed out on this release I missed out on the same day Kathleen Lights came out with her Polly Pocket collection and I really wanted that nail polish set those are very pretty so unfortunately I missed out on both of the collections and I was hoping that they'd restock and I could get uh, the PR box because I really want the PR box because Polly Pocket was a big part of my childhood. Alice in Wonderland obviously is something that I absolutely love. Um, I have so much from Alice in Wonderland, but unfortunately they didn't. So I did pick this up. I'm hoping they do a restock so I can at least get the lip balm and the little brush. I haven't looked online to see if there's resellers that aren't too terrible a price, but I'm happy I at least have the palette. Okay, next up, this was my birthday gift. I was supposed to get like some Redken bond thing for my hair and they were out of it because it was the end of the month. And this is a Tartlet tubing mascara. I have not tried this mascara from Tarte, so I'm excited to have a new mascara to try. This is what it looks like. It's very pretty. Um, excited to try it. This is what the wand looks like. I'm not gonna open it because I just started a new mascara. I'm looking. I feel like I'm looking a little baggy under the eyes. Uh, like the shadow. I was having issues with my eyeshadows today. Anyway, that was my birthday gift from Ulta. And then I had my $10 off. Also from Ulta, I picked up a couple perfumes. They're going to be in my perfume haul. But I did it the one day that like they do all of the sales. And I'm diamond. So I got a free gift. And this is the BB Thickening Volume Shampoo. So happy to have that. I will definitely use that. And then I got this bag as a gift with purchase. And inside here are three things. I'm going to be passing along the mascara because I don't love this mascara. It's the High Impact Mascara by Clinique. But it, you also have a Take the Day Off Balm. And then this little mirror. I mean, it's cute and all. Not something I necessarily need. But got that. And then they were doing this as a gift for... I think a $25 purchase. This is Future Renew number no. seven. It's a damage reversal serum. It's supposed to target visible signs of skin damage. So I have that little serum as well. That was a free gift. To get that free gift, 
I was like a dollar or two short and this was on sale so I picked up another one of this hard as nails by Sally Hansen I really like this as a base coat and so I will definitely use it I have a couple backups of it already I didn't really need to buy one right now but I do find it hard to find they don't carry it in Target I haven't looked in my Ulta store to be honest but I usually have to go to Walgreens to find it. That's where I usually, where I found it in the past. Moving on from Ulta, I have one thing from Macy's. This guy was on sale and I picked it up. I think it was like $9. Wow, that was impressive. It is a beauty blender and it has a beauty blender holder. It's called Putting on the Glitz. It was on clearance, so I picked it up. I, I do use beauty blenders and I really enjoy using them. They don't last me the full three months. I feel like they start going bad about month two. And I think that's because of the foundation I use, which is the double wear. I feel like it gets in there and it sticks a little bit more than other foundations I use. If I'm using other foundations, they last longer. Next up, I have these. I picked these up at my uh, Kroger. It's one of the Kroger family of stores. There's them all over the place. And these were in the little clearance area. And I looked at them and I was like, 341 for two packs of Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. They're the Pride edition. So they came out probably in May. And this I got these in June. So it was still technically Pride Month, which was crazy. And I found two packs that were marked 341. Some of them were marked six something. They were like almost twice as expensive. I think they were like $6.79, which I thought was crazy. So yes, I did end up pulling a pack out and I'm currently using them, but I do have this full pack. This is gonna take me through the end of the year. I'm very excited, like that is a great price on those. I picked up one Ipsy Dale that's not perfume. I, I'll talk about the perfume in the perfume haul. Um, and this is Purely, this is the water and charcoal, charcoal purifying cleanser. I really like this. And then this is the Maskology mask. This was like $3, I wanna say. I hope it was $3. I hope I didn't pay like $5 for it. But I think I was tr looking to get free shipping as part of it too. Th then I picked up two soaps. This is, these are made in France. They are Pre, Pre de Provence. And I got raspberry and I got a honey almond. This is a honey almond pure vegetable. And then this one is also says, but it's a shea butter enhanced. The raspberry smells really good. The honey almond smells even better. I'm so excited about these. I picked these up at a store in Lawrence, Kansas, and they were, this was like $8 and this was like $6. I know they were expensive, but I'm excited to try them. I tend to really like uh, soaps like that way more than Bath and Body Works soaps. And this is a bigger size than the Bath and Body Works. We're going to finish up with TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I have quite a few things. Uh, first up, I picked up this lip balm set because I thought it was cute. It's the Disney 100 lip balm set. I probably won't use it. Just that's me. So you have Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Tinkerbell, Mickey, and Minnie. And this was $5.99. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to get this. This is from Mad Beauty. And it's the Good versus Evil lip balm set, and it was $4.99. So Ursula is a cherry lip balm, and Ariel is a coconut lip balm, and they look amazing. I also found this, and this is from Vanilla Vanilla and Co., right? Yeah, Vanilla Co., and this was $3.99, and it's just a little set, and you have this teeny tiny foam cleanser, and then you also have one of their... Uh, cleansing balms so I was excited to get that I've can't remember if I've tried them or if I just heard a lot about them but I wanted to try that it was $3.99 for that set at Marshall's then I picked up some supplements I got this nature's truth hair skin and nails biotin $8 for 60 I want to say no it's 110 so that's a lot of gummies in there uh, I'm set for biotin for a while, especially because you're going to see in a little bit. Found this, and I was very excited about this. This is the only thing I saw. It is Barbie Rose Petal Scented Sugar Scrub. I don't know how I'm going to love a rose scented, but it is very, like, 80s uh, Barbie. I Yeah, it's sealed, so I'm going to leave it sealed. I was very excited to find this. This was $5.99 at Marshall's. Then... This one I was also excited about. This is from Gwen Stefani. This is the multi-use prep and smooth face oil. 
and if you know me you know I love Gwen Stefani and having the ability to pick this up for $7.99 at TJ Maxx instead of like the $29 it is I was like yep I will get it I have been using facial oils on my neck and chest mostly but I probably won't use it as a primer though I think that would be a little much then I finally can open these because I've been out I found some more of my nature's truth beauty collagen types one and three these are strawberry they taste really nice and I, I feel like I'm old I need to I'm old enough that I need to start using collagen then we have this this is from my mom because I found these and I was only gonna get a couple bottles and she's like get them all so I did I got eight of each <laughs> this is hum I love the hum vitamins this is the hyaluronic acid one this is glow sweet glow hyaluronic acid vitamin C and E these were $7.99 all right like I said I got eight so one two three four five six seven eight yeah this is why my mom bought them because I was like I'm not spending that much I, I gotta spread it out but they are like twenty six dollars I want to say at Sephora when they have them and then I also found the hair sweet hair biotin folic acid Foti b12 zinc and Paba I also got eight of them too four, six, eight. So yeah, lots of, lots of supplements. I, I'm set for a couple months because I'll have to go buy, find some more collagen eventually. Anyway, let me know what deals you have been finding. Let me know if you've tried any of these, what your thoughts and opinions are on them. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time.